Hello everyone, uh, this next game is uh, like no other you've seen on my channel. It's a very special game, uh, because in this game, uh, well, no pieces were captured by either side and uh, no checks were given also by either side. Uh, this game was played in a very strong tournament in Palma de Mallorca in Spain in uh, 1968. And, uh, well, the winner of this tournament was uh, Victor Korchno. It was uh, one of Victor Korchno's best tournaments ever as uh, he drew the world champion Tigran Petrosian and uh, he defeated Boris Spassky and a lot of strong players like uh, Larsen and Gligoric. And uh, this game I'm gonna show you is played between uh, Antonio Medina Garcia and Svetozar Gligoric. And uh, like I said, although Viktor Korchner won the tournament and uh, Gligoric won 5th uh, place behind uh, Petrosian Larsen and uh, I think it was Spassky, yes. Uh, uh, this game Gligoric played is definitely the one to, the one to see. So, well, without further ado, let's uh, let's see this game. Uh, Antonio Garcia is white and Svetozar Gligoric is black. <clears throat> so we have e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, the Rui Lopez, or the Spanish opening. Uh, we have a6, the Morphe defense, bishop to a4, knight to f6, uh, Garcia castles, and uh, here Gligoric plays bishop to e7. Uh, Gligoric, uh, Gligoric could have played something like uh, knight captures on e4, and uh, this is, uh, well, pretty standard also. Uh, but after rook to e1 and uh, knight to c5 and maybe bishop captures on c6, d captures on c6 and knight captures on e5, uh, the tension in the center is gone and uh, Gligoric doesn't want to allow this, as uh, of course he considers himself to be the stronger player, so he would like to preserve the tension. Uh, and he plays bishop to e7. So we have rook to e1. Uh, b5 by Gligoric, uh, bishop to b3, uh, d6, c3, uh, Gligoric castles, h3, h6, uh, d4, rook to e8, knight b to d2, uh, this knight is preparing for a very long maneuver, for example uh, d2 to f1 to maybe e3 or g3 and then to maybe f5. Uh, so we have bishop to f8, uh, knight to f1, uh, bishop to b7, and now knight to g3. Uh, Garcia has a pretty good uh, plan, as uh, Gligoric has already played h6. Uh, this kind of weakens the f5 square, because if uh, Garcia manages to put his knight on f5, uh, Gligoric can't really uh, get it out of that square, except maybe by playing g6. Uh, but that would further weaken his king's position, or simply by retreating his bishop to c8. Uh, so we have knight to a5 by Gligoric, attacking this strong bishop. We have bishop to c2. Uh, knight to c4, now uh, bishop to d3, uh, Gligoric plays knight to b6, and this is all pretty standard, uh, black is preparing c5, uh, we have bishop to d2, and now c5 by Gligoric, uh, and d5 by Garcia, he wants to close the position. Uh, we have bishop to c8, now also protecting that f5 square, uh, we have b3, c4, attacking the bishop, uh, bishop to f1, and uh, bishop to d7. We have knight to h2, Garcia wants to push uh, f4, uh, so we have a rook to c8, b4, also further closing the position, uh, knight to a4, and queen to f3. And now Garcia is uh, planning to play knight to f5, because now the queen is protecting here, and he would uh, very much uh, enjoy uh, trading this knight for this light square bishop. Because this light square bishop is a good piece that Gligoric has. Uh, on the other hand, this dark square bishop is, is not, a, not a very good piece. Well, not yet. Uh, so we have g6 by Gligoric, not allowing the knight to go to f5. Uh, bishop to e2. We have bishop to g7. Uh, h4, preparing to push h5 to, you know, further weaken the f5 square. Uh, so we have knight to h7. And now he pushes h5. Uh, Gligoric plays knight to g5, attacking the queen, and we have a queen to e3. And now Gligoric pushes f5. And already, well, black is black is much better here, as uh, his uh, his pawn structure is now perfectly fine. Uh, this f5 move is is really really good, and he's preparing to push f4. You know, to to kind of fork the 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 queen and the knight. And uh, capturing this f5 pawn would pretty much achieve nothing, as he would simply recapture g captures on f5, and still, uh, still the threat of f4 would would remain, and it would only weaken the d5 pawn that White has. So uh, Garcia tries a uh, well, uh, the queen a7 move, 
and uh, there wasn't really any place for the queen to go. He could have moved the knight, but uh, the, the queen is pretty vulnerable on e3. Uh, so we have f4 by Gligoric and uh, knight to f1 by Garcia. And now Gligoric uh, plays rook to a8, attacking the queen and also protecting this a6 pawn. Uh, we have uh, queen to b7 by Garcia, and now Gligoric plays rook to e7. And in this position, uh, Antonio Medea, Gar Medina Garcia resigned the game as uh, there is no defense against the bishop to e8. For example, whatever white plays, and the white, white doesn't really have a good move here. For example, if h captures on g6, then simply bishop to e8, and the queen is trapped. So, uh, even without capturing this pawn, Gar Antonio Garcia decided to resign the game, and, uh, well, this... Uh, uh, so it would, uh, you know, become a part of history, as no, no pieces were captured and uh, no checks were given by either side. And uh, some people even call this game the uh, uh, Gligoric's bug house immortal, uh, because like, uh, as no checks were given and no pieces were captured, they might as, might as well have even played bug house. Uh, it, it would still be the same game. So yeah, uh, that's the game. I hope you enjoyed it. I believe this is my first game uh, I featured uh, Svetozar Gligoric on my channel, but I, I will do more games as, as he's a fantastic player. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. And uh, thank you for watching. I will see you soon.